Hello and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your daily reading for Tuesday the 10th of November 2020. We have my beautiful cat Stella here. She decided to make an entrance and I've actually already started this reading so I've already pulled some cards, some fairy cards and then Stella turned up. So I am going to just pull some tarot and we'll see if Stella can let me start. We'll see if we can get some information around the day for you. So we're looking at energies around the home, energies around career and finance, energies around love and relationships and general energies as well. So let's hopefully Stella can get nice and comfortable. I just saw the strength card poke its head out then. So let's get started. Okay, as overall energy, we have the pook. <laughs> we have the pook. And when the pook comes in, you know, this for me, this is a real manifesting energy. This is, uh, you know, being able to draw things up from the deep, draw out. This can be information coming up from the deep, things being revealed as well with the pook coming in. Um, I'm getting things being drawn up. So it's kind of interesting, but um, things are being summoned. So, yeah, it depends on what that is in your life, but it's like there's a summoning coming. So um, this energy is coming, coming, but it does feel positive. It, it, I think it's going to be individual for each of you. And so that's why this is kind of can be an, a manifesting energy as well, but it does feel like something is being, something deep down is being summoned because it's wanting either your attention or it's wanting to bring you into a space of manifestation and creating your own reality or creating a new reality. So let's have a look at what we've got around the home. Oh, we have Lease of the Shadows and the Four of Pentacles. And Lease of the Shadows is also something that's coming up out of the deep and bring, sh shining some light on something. And I think it's to do with your financial situations around the home, finances around the house. Again, you know, around the home can be government bodies. So it could be looking at uh, budgets. It can be things coming up around budgets or budget deficits, things like that. Uh, but in terms of the home, looking at where you're holding on to money too tight or where you need to be a little bit more flexible, looking at where your savings, so where you can move money around. A lot of stuff's coming up, but when Lisa of the Shadows comes up, she releases you from a place where there, you've been stuck. So, but it's highlighting, again, it's this summoning things are coming up energy, but uh, not in a bad way. It's come up to release you, to bring your attention, some things to your attention, but only in order to, um, so that you can see the dynamic of things and see how things might need to be kind of slightly changed so that you can move forward. So it's kind of giving you positive messages for that. Okay, so career and finance, we have the strength card and Lesquana. So this is very much an energy of looking forward, feeling more hopeful, but it is going to take your strength. It is going to take some courage uh, to actually, it, I feel like this is, a again, this is this sense of something's being summoned. This is a future vision coming in. Uh, so the, but it is requiring, it, it, it is requiring, it's interesting. We had that deep power, like personal power from the dark lady last week that was coming up. And again, it's this summoning. It feels like it's this rise in personal power that's coming on a human level, which is fabulous. And this is kind of summoning you, calling you to something and it's taking you out into a vision that's out of your comfort zone, that that's where this strength card, this courage is needed in order to even step into this. So, yeah, it's interesting, interesting. Okay, um, someone might have to swallow their pride as well, someone you're working with. So, and for love and relationships, I think Stella's sitting, lying on the last card here now. But love and relationships, we have the Page of Wands and the Glancona. Wow. Okay. The Glancona is very much the narcissist energy coming in. But the Page of Wands is so this kind of energy is coming up for the day, um, the narcissist. 
But, uh, you know, he comes up to be looked at again because it's looking at where you're going, uh, where you're seeing growth. There is a sense, again, a new optimism for the future, hope for the future, a new direction is opened up, but it's right standing right in front of you is this narcissist energy that is... This is the energy of doubt. It's the energy of trying to stop something before it even starts. This is the saboteur that's coming in here. So there is perhaps someone's trying to make something of a relationship or trying to do something or move forward here. And there's another energy that is, whether this is another person or whether this is an internal energy, a voice of your own that's stopping it stopping moving forward, trying to kind of trounce on any idealism, any hope for the future. So the narcissism, narcissist is trying to come in and stop this, uh, but or this energy anyway. So it's actually the, the glancona is, being a, is meddling. It's a meddling energy that's coming in here. Uh, but I do feel like it's not necessarily, I don't feel like it's stopping this feeling of wanting to start a new direction, wanting to do something new. So, yeah, it's trying really hard, but I don't feel like it's got, I feel like it's diminished in power compared to this summoning, this personal power that is rising up that's coming with the rest of the reading. So I need to just grab this last card off Stella. Gluminous doom has come out, number 56. So it's interesting because he's very much the naysayer, the negative forecaster, things are looking gloomy, it's a negative future. And that's why we're kind of forgetting that, um, you know, the Glancona. And I have to say that that energy is very much a false energy coming in. It's a trickster energy when he's coming in trying to stop someone feeling hopeful or moving forward. And so that's why this energy could come in the gluminous doom. But we do have this, it's like these conflicting energies. It's like this energy of power rising, personal power, hope and inspiration and new visions coming up. But there's also this energy of um, something trying to stop that and a pessimism. So there's these two um, opposing energies and just wherever you sit with that, I have to I have to think that this doominous, gluminous doom kind of energy that's coming in that's very negative and pessimistic and combined with that glaucoma, I do feel like they're just trying to stop progress at the end of the day. It's in their interest. It's in this energy's interest, whether it's, an inter like I said, it could sometimes these are our internal voices. And it's just trying to stop this wave of forward movement. And I don't feel like it's going to do its best to try and stop that, but I don't feel like it's going to succeed. So, yeah, interesting energy for Tuesday the 10th of November. Thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you tomorrow.